the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Cassie Hyder. You know, gray skies today, but n not too bad out. The temperature is temperature great. Temperature-wise, mm -hmm. it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. But Cassie, you are already tracking our next chance for rain. Yes, we are, which is actually a good thing. We yeah, certainly we need, it. need it. And we are expecting quite a bit of wind tomorrow. And with okay. that, we're going to be tracking fires first. Oh, no. Okay. I know. I know. It, it primarily in far western, northwestern Oklahoma. That's where that fire threat will be highest. But today, it was so nice. We did end up with highs in the upper 60s here in Oklahoma City. But we had some locations in parts of South Central southeast Oklahoma where temperatures were in the 80s today. So, so far we've come down to 54 degrees, but for February, it's not bad at all. The Ceramic Fidelity camera, but of our Lucky Star Sky Chem Network. So 54 degrees, we've got a north northeast wind right now at nine miles an hour. Temperatures now in the upper 30s in Harper County, but lots of low 40s, even some 50s still mixed in to the north, but some upper 50s and 60s still in southern Oklahoma. You can see where that front is. So behind it now, it's a very light wind coming in out of the north northeast and eventually overnight and into tomorrow morning that wind will be shifting back to the south and southwest and by tomorrow afternoon it is going to be very windy so much in fact that we do have that high wind watch at least for the panhandle that's where we could easily see wind gusts as high as around 45 to 50 miles an hour and then we're going to be watching this next wave coming in out of the southwest that will finally provide yet another chance of rain but unfortunately yet again not necessarily for the panhandle so as far as temperatures are concerned we're going to be staying warm for the next couple of days. 60s and 70s will be the norm. This next storm will be moving in by tomorrow night and into Wednesday morning. I think for the metro, the storms will likely hit probably sometime right around rush hour. And some of those could be strong to severe. So we're going to watch that very closely. Now by Thursday and Friday behind that storm, it's going to be more chilly. Temperatures drop down into the 40s for both Thursday and Friday. Saturday, Temperatures should be back in the low 50s, but now we're watching this next wave move in. So the pattern is certainly looking a little bit more active. We're going to have a chance of rain Saturday, Sunday, and even into Monday. That's when the main wave kind of moves through, and we are tracking another chance of rain and storms for early next week. And then the next storm tries to move in by about midweek of next week. Right now it's kind of missing the mark as far as rain in Oklahoma, but there is another storm out there. We are tracking more storms, so we do have more potential of seeing some rain around here. Starting our future cast at noon tomorrow because you know tonight obviously very quiet but during the day we're going to see increasing clouds and it's probably going to be late tomorrow evening we're going to start to see maybe some light rain in the far northwest but very minimal at best however this wave is really going to come through during the overnight hours and into Wednesday morning again some of those could be strong to low and severe and they're going to quickly move off to the north and east so by Wednesday afternoon I think there's still going to be a chance in northeast Oklahoma but we're going to start to see some sunshine and temperatures will be back in the 70s it's also going to be windy again, so we're going to be tracking the fire threat again by Wednesday afternoon, mainly in western Oklahoma. Tonight, though, dropping down into the mid 40s here in Oklahoma City, but 30s and low 40s across the north, 40s and 50s across the south. Tomorrow afternoon, again, windy, high of low or high of 71, but some low 70s in the northwest, more windy there, some 80s in the southwest. The fire threat in that extreme category in northwest Oklahoma still high in the southwest, not nearly as high here in Oklahoma City because I do expect that relative humidity to be a little bit higher. But tomorrow evening, a slight chance of rain in the northwest and also in the southeast. By tomorrow, Tomorrow night to Wednesday morning, I think it's pretty much guaranteed that we're going to have some showers and storms across central and eastern Oklahoma. Some of those could become severe. We're talking small hail, wind gusts of 65 miles an hour. Some very heavy rainfall if you do get a strong storm on top of you. And as far as the tornado threat, there is a very low tornado threat again in central and northeast Oklahoma, basically riding up along I-44. It is there. It's not zero, but it is low. By Wednesday afternoon, storms are still likely in the northeast, but we're going to be clearing out in Oklahoma City during the day with high Highs back in the 70s. Thursday, here comes the colder air back to normal, staying normal at least through the early part of our weekend with temperatures back in the 60s by Sunday and a chance of rain. Carl, back to you.